It appears you won't see anything tangible like school resource officers or private security introduced in the days ahead. The officials who met today, school leaders and public safety leaders, to name a few, pushed the importance of working together. They believe that collaboration will play a major role in safety in and around schools. And really, when we think about community... At Portland Public School headquarters Friday morning, district officials sat down with city, county, and public safety leaders to discuss one of our city's biggest issues gun violence. The city's gun violence unfortunately has now reached our doorsteps. Superintendent Guadalupe Guerrero is referring to the four shootings outside Portland High Schools in just three months time. Two of those shootings were outside Jefferson High, one outside Cleveland and another outside Franklin just last weekend. We recognize that this compels us to urgently step up our efforts with our city and county uh, public safety officials and partners. Uh, and many other community partners. What a lot of people want to know is will the recent spate of shootings spell the return of school resource officers who were removed from schools back in 2020. We're told focus groups made up of kids, educators and parents are tackling that very question. But the chair of the school board says it's too early to say if SROs will return to the classroom. What he is ready to say is this. I'm a little frustrated the conversation in the community seems to become very binary about are you going to have school resource offices or not. One of the things about today's conversation is we covered a, a whole host of, of, of interventions and programs that are really going to help reduce violence. Andrew Scott says the key moving forward is first ensuring that the district is aware of those city and county sponsored interventions and programs, then making them available to the district's at risk youth. There is no group of individuals in our community who deserve safety in their environment more than our children. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says what could prove to be invaluable to the district is what's called the Credible Interveners Program. Those are individuals with credibility in the community who have connections to individuals in our community who might be engaged in or impacted by gun violence. We know that factually these kinds of programs reduce gun violence in the community. Mayor Wheeler said the city is investing $5 million in the program, a step in the right direction for sure. But if anything came out of Friday's summit, it's the belief that one program alone won't quell gun violence in the Rose City collaboration in the community will instead. As educational leaders, our ability to ensure a safe and positive school community requires a collective approach and coordination with public safety agencies. All right, school leaders hinted at more of these summits in the weeks and months ahead, acknowledging that ending gun violence around schools is a huge task and will not happen overnight.